Academy is living. <laughs> it really is. This dress was actually designed by Gianni Versace in 1996 for Elizabeth Hurley. So I pulled it straight from the 90s. Channeling the 90s was totally a thing on the black carpet. Sabrina Carpenter rocked Madonna's 1991 Oscar dress. Addison Rae was given Madonna too, while Tate McRae paid homage to Britney Spears' VMA look in 2001. Glorilla told me she was inspired by the late Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Oh, yes, son. I always try to channel my inner Lisa. What's up, VMA? On stage, the nominee avoided a not safe for work wardrobe malfunction when her top became unfastened. Watch as she holds on to it before a dancer steps in to hold it for the rest of her performance. Hey. hey girls! You look like a bombshell, oh mama! Oh my god, thank you! So good! I have a bubble gum right now in my <laughs> gum. I forgot about my gum, sorry. Well, let me show you how it's done. This is a little one tonight. Yeah. Everything that I'm wearing is black. I've got these kind of crosses. One of the night's other biggest trends, hoods and veils. I'm wearing Savage Expense. Oh my Custom by Riri. It's a white night. Yes. All white night, yes. Oh <laughs> so good. I'm giving some spoilers for the fans in the future. They're, they will understand the vibe. Yeah. Best Latin winner three years in a row, Anita, who indulged in some pre-show fries, had three looks, four if you count this comfy robe. But queen of the quick change? Just playing, come get this night. The night's host, Megan The Stallion, who had a whopping seven looks, including this Beyonce-inspired leotard. To be this many years in and still be inspired, hungry, motivated, grateful, yeah. it, that's the gift. Lenny rocked a tie, but forgot his shirt, per usual. Benson Boone gave us lace and sparkle. Underneath everything, I'm wearing an American, American flag speedo, just in case any clothes come off, yeah, I'm are. always prepared. <laughs>